with some more Hotful Boyfriend. Um, this game is really interesting so far. But, uh, but at least it's amusing, so there's that. Would you care for something meta? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tonjiro left? I have no idea what that is. Of course! Here you are! Okay, that looks kinda good. And that cup is really cute with that wizard hunter or whatever that is. Mmm! Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best! Mmm! By the way, Mr. Uroshihara? Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. So when does he sleep? When I work night shifts, I don't go to a cafe all day. He likes to come here to relax before work. A, a budget guard who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. Just like Asami. And here it took him for a time to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't I met another careful driver recently? <gasps> Maybe they were together or something. Uh, Rabu and Asami. Maybe I need to bring them together again. Oh, that would be cute. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Meta. It's been a pleasure. Of course it's been. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss Meta is a student. Okay, words scrammed together there. And so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. <laughs> what? <laughs> During the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. I'm gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Meta. Of course you're all gonna miss me. At least Ken Saburo ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabbit sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. <laughs> Every bird who comes here probably thinks of it as an, os an oasis in the city. An island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity so few people come in. Wait, we got a customer! Oh, welcome! Asami! Yes! You came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from a sweet little pro protege now, can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. Yay, have a seat please. No oh yes, I knew it! Let's watch the magic unfold. <laughs> Asami, is that you? <gasps> Her expression suddenly hardens. Oh f I fucked up, didn't I? It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Do you know each other? And I never thought an anything like this at all, so don't blame me. <laughs> I'm totally innocent over here. You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? Asami, I... How do you think I've felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him in any moment. Uh, Asami... I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rob is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please, forgive him! For my sake, please. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. Kinda does, since it's my game. Uh, what, what happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? Uh-oh. 
blaster? What the fuck? I remember your six sea rapturous eyes back then. You used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, it wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hosok Hosokawa Blaster. <laughs> He's a really fearsome bird. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies. <laughs> hell's birdies. <laughs> Would have followed you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> and we all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. Because that's what the hell's birdies are all about. Traffic safety. Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. We, when you ride, you ride on the inside. You are pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul, as wild as any other gag, but never breaking the law. You were my hero! But a hero doesn't run away. And you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Mm, I knew there was something like this going on here. Done with the gang tales, on to the love story. Asami, I can tell I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Urushihara remains exactly as he was when it all started, slowly polishing glasses behind a counter. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang, and his real fake name is Hosokawa Blaster. The entire situation seems extremely out of place here. That's, uh, you know, understatement. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? It was on the uh, Asami scooter, wasn't it? Will you listen to me, Asami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like Mr. Favabean. Mr. Favabean? <laughs> Just look at that. Just look at that silliness right there. This. It, it fits so well. I don't like fat men. Oh, my love, you burned up long ago. Asami subjects Mr. Favabean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Favabean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Favabean? No, she probably wouldn't be acting like this if she didn't love him. I should bring up... Uh, martial arts? Scooter! Asami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Favabin. <laughs> That's his new name now, isn't it? Mr. Favabin. What's all this, Meta? I think you, uh, I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Your scooter right side is emblazoned with his name. Objection! <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him, I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Favabian, right, Asami? Uh, Meta, my name isn't. <laughs> I saw it with my own two eyes when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story, left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Asami I trying to sympathize with me. No thanks, I've had enough of that. You threw me away, and there's nothing that can change that. This is real dramatic stuff, fellows. No, Asami, listen to me. I never threw you away, I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. Oh, he's scared of commitment. Isn't that adorable? I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads. But would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but... 
Is the hair of the man eyed riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Also, Kava Blaster. Your eyes look like they did back then. Asami, enough girl talk. Marry me. This is adorable. Just going straight, uh, like according to the plan I had in my head when I figured out that uh, these two knew each other. Mm. Of course. Oh, that's cute. Wait, no, no, it's not over yet! Stop the credits! <laughs> this is supposed to be the story of my romance! Not theirs. Mine? Not theirs. Mine? Not theirs. Mine? Not theirs. So there we go. Who did that? Who started the ending scene here? Jeez! That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urushihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. I brought them together, that's a good thing. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Metta. Yes, sir! Those who want to see others. Those who want to be seen. A soothing mecca for all such people. Torimi Cafe, Pocos Forest. Is this an ad or something? Tea next to Chattering Birds. Bird flavored ice cream. That's a little macabre. Curry rice to die for. Right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. If you still haven't had your fill of avian company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Toribi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you! As of September 11, 2011, please check the website for more recent information. Shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you. This is really, you know, swinging music. <laughs> so stupid and ear catching. This is indeed an ad. Carve it in into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. Wait, was this ending number 12? I said the game isn't over yet! <laughs> Yay, I got an achievement! Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. Slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late! Maybe, maybe this was a side story or something? Oh well. It was cute. Time to run out of my cave and to school. Oh, hello, Tosaka. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. I was busy matchmaking birds this summer. Overslept? Ah, my homework! I forgot to bring my homework! Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Tosaka? Huh? What's the number in the top left hand corner say? 30th of August? Ooh, you're just a little bit early. Ah! No since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Tosaka? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September or so if you want to go and study in the library. I want to, uh... Mm, help Mr. Nan Nanaki and get closer to teacher. Uh, study in the library and probably run into the bookish nerd. Or return to my glorious abode! L the wonderful cave with my spoon and all. I'm, I'm gonna help the teacher and, you know, just see what happens. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. He walked me home, so I'll help him now. So I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room. Like a proper little lady. 
This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Mango is awesome. It's one of my favorite flavors. So there we go. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Okasan is always having fun! Yep, yep. <coughs> Sorry guys. What is this fun? Kind of messes up my throat when I change between voices like that. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. <laughs> focus, sir! Focus! Second term! <laughs> Just a look at that peacock thingy or whatever it is. It, it looks like a fancy bird. Second term! Huh, is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2 2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir! He's really sleepy, isn't he? Sir! Oh! Hello, Meta. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2 2. I thought I should take it here. Oh! Thank you, Meta. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just. You did find this today, right, Tosaka? Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer? No birdie noticed it. It's awful clean though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Tosaka. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend, um, let's do math class. I'd hope for something a little more interesting from an, uh, from an elective, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakya? Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? <laughs> he looks happy, though. No! Level up! Met the level up. Wisdom increased by 5. 21. Yay. Good morning. What the heck is going on? Okay. The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody eviscerate the down pillow or something? Ryota, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday? It's molting season, so... Well, one little breeze and it looks like... off. Oh, damn it, I clicked too quickly there. Now that I look closely, Ryota's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. Guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone! Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Okosan! You fucked up, Okosan. Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll, it'll be easy if we all pitch in. So we swabbed the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of fetters. Not enough for a food on, but I'll bet we could make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? Sir, um, did you spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. But, um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. <laughs> what a moronic teacher. Bleach? 
Sir, are you, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, 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 I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. What? Stupid teacher. That's dangerous! Sir, please be careful. Mm, yes, I'll... I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. Which means that we get to mess around in the homeroom, just do whatever. Today's the school festival! Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off! Yay! Don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Isn't two for doing a haunted house? Oh yes! Haunted houses! Yes! You guys know I love horror, like horror stuff, so... I'm well known for my reckless nature, so maybe I'll go and scream a little bit for you guys' amusement. I think Saki has free today too, isn't it? It seems like I'm locking in, in on Mr. Hoity Toity. Maybe I should invite him along. Invite him, yes! I can see him s s like scream in horror. Shit all over the floor as he flaps his wings around. That would be fun. Do you need something? You're free today, right? Wanna go look at Two Forest Haunted House? Mm hmm. Haunted House, a waste of time. Nothing but a foolish charade of commoners by commoners and for commoners. <laughs> How do you know if you don't go? And besides, isn't keeping an eye on the masses part of a noble bird's job? Er. I suppose it might have some value. Since I have no other pressing matches to which I must attend, I shall accompany you. What is this madness? A haunted mansion! What on earth is that? Who would be attacked by hostile ninjas? No, that would be a ninja mansion. But my nurse told me that any mansion is bound to have ninjas lying in wait outside. It's like a tiny theme park! With a ghost theme! Hence haunted! How oh, foolish! No doubt it is nothing but tricks to scare my children. We shall enter. And he's got to be pissing his pants, if he wore any. Oh hey, wait. What trickery is this? I can't see! Why is it dark in here? Alright, you can't see in the dark, can you? Ah! I stepped on something nasty! No, stop! Unhand me! Ah! Ah! I knew it. Totally knew it. Saka, calm down! No! You're not supposed to kick the poor ghosts! Ghosts have feeling. Let me go! <gasps> I've never seen him this worked up before. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad he enjoyed it. I think. Ah! I handed him my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Hibamine. Ooh, Ninja Doctor, no. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a st 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 statistical deviation visible in data on students from the past few years. Hope to get some insight from you, bud. It would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll... I'll side with Kazuaki! Fuck you, Ninja Doctor! That's not very nice, Doctor. What do you want? Hello, Tosaka. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil? Fuck you, ninja doctor! I don't like you. Today is track day. We'll be timing each other today, so I made sure to be prepare to be in top shape. Huh? Why is the doctor here? Ugh. You didn't know? I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletic clubs. Clubs. Claps. <laughs> Your advisor asked me to bring steroids today, but... Okuzana, there's no need for those! Bring 
focus on putting or bring nothing at all. As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I'd really like to see how his body will react to it. Eh. Okazan said he doesn't want it! It smells weird! I meant to drink it to set. No, 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 thank you. No, nope. Do not want. Um. Okazan drink it! Come on, Okazan, he made it for you! You need to drink it. Cool. I force Sun to the ground and make him drink the steroids. <laughs> Best teammate ever. <laughs> I'm grateful to you, Miss Meta. I'm sure this will help my research. <laughs> totally not sinister at all. Okasan is out cold and twitchy. <laughs> Man, I feel bad now. Doctor seems happy, but maybe this wasn't a good idea. No. I don't think it was. Not at all. Ah, today was good! The true, real life! I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. Meta! Hi, Ryota! You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes, but why do you ask? left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you can catch up to him before he gets home. I could take you to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home. So I was wondering if maybe you could... Sure, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going home to my cave. My wonderful, dreary, drafty cave. With my spoon. Thank you! Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about this personal life. Is he always as spacey as he is at school? He probably spends 97% of his time at home asleep. That's what I guess it's saying, at least. Hmm? Piece of paper fell out of his phone case. What's this? <gasps> it's a photo. A photo of a bird, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? Doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it. Yeah, seems like an idea. Sir! Oh, hello, Tosaka. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone! So I did! Thank you for coming after me with it, Tosaka. That was very nice of you. I know, I'm so nice and generous. No problem at all, sir. Um, hmm? Was there something else? What should I do? Ask about the photo! Let's do it! Sir, I'm sorry I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? Um picture I... <gasps> ah, yes, that. Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? But I'm curious! It was almost completely marked out. Yes. Because I marked it out. Some drama drama stuff! Ah! He, he did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so... Well, see you tomorrow! Let's ignore the dramatic music playing in the background. So we left with a farewell as carefree as if we'd just been talking about the weather. He has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? Maybe he's a serial killer or, or something cool like that. Who knows? Ah, it's that time of year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. That sounded a bit sinister. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I, so I guess it's time to go home. Hmm? Where's my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal C during break, so can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. And who will I meet there in the chemistry lab, I wonder? The door is open. Good.
This is the school for birds. Why do they focus on human anat like anatomy? Do they use humans as test subjects, like, you know, autopsies? Well, instead of frogs, maybe? Okay. There it is, sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely, Mr. Phone? Come on, let's head home. Ah! I bumped into... <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Shoo, 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 shoo. Away, away. Doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? Uh, I helped, uh, you know, Okusan drink the stuff. You should be happy. I fed him your nasty steroids. Mostly because I didn't want to drink it myself, but and that's a whole other thing. No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone. After school. In the lab. What were you doing? Um, I... Left something behind? Did you see anything? I saw a human skeleton and... Stuff. Eh? I'm asking if you saw an an anything. W what are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? I got a bad feeling, guys. Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Tosaka? No. No! No, no, no. Yes, what is it? <gasps> Could you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones on the desk? Uh, this seems bad. Isn't the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me. But I'm sure you will have no problem with them. <laughs> this does not bode good. Well, would you mind? Yes, I would mind. Yes, I would, but it uh, seems I have no choice in this matter. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. Fuck you! I want to say no. Just do as he says. Creepy ninja doctor. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. Wait! No! No, 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 no. I'm locked in. Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out! Brute! Villain! Fluffy heretic! That's my new favorite insult, fluffy heretic. Right there. No reply. The building's going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone who was coming here. <laughs> Somebody help me! A doctor locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to, unless <laughs> he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of. Shutting me up or removing the evidence That's probably it. I'm in despair This evil doctor will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair Drama guys it's Drama. I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? Uh... Footsteps coming closer. I have to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't. Huh? <gasps> Yay! The lice teacher! What are you doing in here, Tosaka? School is closed already. <gasps> Mr. Nanaki! I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging the door, Tosaka? That's not good. The door isn't the punching bag. Okay. I think I have eyes to discern that. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels! I'm alive! No thanks to the nasty ninja doctor. Sir, I... There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come in of my own accord, doctor. That's right, I asked her to. 
Fuck you! I'm on to you, you bastard! You did? Indeed, I am truly sorry. No, you're not! Fucking hate you guts. Completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. He's so lying! You locked the door as soon as I walked in there. Who are you, Clive Wary? Is that it? Well then. The whole thing stinks of ill doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Tosaga. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget the printout from earlier today. Tosaka is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though, she is a, bit, a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye! Doctor? Yes? That was a little sloppy. <gasps> They're in cahoots, aren't they? Fuck you guys. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. Nah, no. that sort of thing will be the death of you, you know? Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone and you remember to come later out in the end. Don't worry about it. Fuck you. Yes, thank you, Professor. Orange. Fucking hate him. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice e exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Tosaka! Sir! You're getting better. Keep it up! Yes, sir! I'm fucking awesome. It's winter break! The year's almost over. For some reason, it makes me sad. Especially since I have no electricity in my poor mm, drafty cave. I got a letter in a fancy envelope. Who's it from? You're holding a Christmas party at the LaBelle Mansion on the 24th of this month. You are invited. Be honored. Sakya LaBelle should have got a yes, I got invited to a hoity -foity, hoity toity fancy party. Yay, I got a heartwarming invitation. My family's Buddhist, so I hadn't had anything planned. I might as well go, right? I think I'll. I'll go to the party, of course. Duh. Wow, it's like a palace. Oh, what do you think, Tosaka? Normal commoners such as yourself would never set foot in air. But now I'm gonna groove out to Christmas music. It's amazing, Sakuya. This whole thing is far removed from my own uncultured Stone Age lifestyle. I do live in a cave, after all. I feel a little nervous. Do you have a party like this every year? Every year? Don't be foolish. We have one every month. Creating a habitat for social discourse is a noble's duty after all. That seems a little tiresome. Are you feeling overwhelmed already? Poor foolish comma. Go! Okusan is here too? Yes! That's... I knew it! This establishment likes pudding! <laughs> With the pudding! Oko, your dog! Why are you here? I never invited you! Oko san sends a feast and came in through the window! But there is no pudding! I wouldn't give any to you even if I did have some. Confound you, you genetic throwback! Okasan's going to go berserk at this rate. Think I should. Let's stop him. Okasan, inside voice. Well done, Tosaka. Now throw him outside. Cool. I threw him outside. Isn't he rich enough to have a goddamn bouncer or something? I'm grateful to you, Tosaka. Now we can have our party in peace. And girl out to Christmas music! Woo! No need to thank me. I would hire you as a bodyguard if ever you so desired. Why not? Um... 
My next summer job is in the bag. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into in incandescent glory. Lighting up my cave that seems rather devoid of um, snow, despite it being the 1st of January. Okay. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. A lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some uh, from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Meta! Oh, he's got a flower in his... Uh, here. <laughs> or on his head. In his feathers. Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment and conquest! <laughs> of course, when I'm gonna take over the world, I gotta do so gloriously. Here you go. Thanks, Rhoda. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day's always busy. Oh well. I was going to ask if we wanted to go get lunch together, but... Sorry, Meta. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get, get a fortune? You're next to the main building over here, over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm... Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year! Oh, hello, Tosaka. Happy New Year! Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? Chicken of ill omen. Oh well, hmm, which should I take? This one! And I get a lucky card! Yay, I knew it! Was well, such a blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Tosaka. Thank you, sir! Happy New Year, everyone! Hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Color me surprised. What a shocker. Mm. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up! Oh. <laughs> and I'm getting a little bit tired myself. It's 3 a.m., so... Maybe play a little more and then... Crawl off to bed. Mm, I said this before, but your un junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. That's good. Third term! Yay! It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's legument. Legumentines? I think I'll buy some beans. <laughs> Today, le Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy alike, but, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful! It's just so silly. Good evening, here for beans? Yes. Is there any kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards those bean medleys for racers. They are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. Sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy uh, This probably uh, affects the pigeon that I'm gonna give him to. Calm corn, bitter black beans, country millet, swollen. Let's go with the racing one. Take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. It's not like I have an inventory with cash or something. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdy. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Tosaka. What is it? Um, today's legumentines. That, that's just something about that word that really 
messes me up. So I wanted to give you beads, not to give them to me. Ooh, it seems I have the hots for teacher. You sure that's okay? You don't have uh, someone else? No, sir, I want to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... I like anything, as long as it's not some terrible prank. What kind of girl would play pranks on legumentines? Please, take this, sir. Mmm, they look good. Thank you. Sir, I hope I am in your class again next semester. I hope... And <laughs> he's sleeping, of course. Aww. Poor quail. Sir, this is important. You have to listen. Sir! That was a purpose, wasn't it? My feelings are so hurt right now. The semester is almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. But there's one thing I have left to do first. One thing I need to do. Do I need to confess my feelings? <laughs> of course. Hello, Tosaka. What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months le yet. Uh, no, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh? Please, do. Sir, I like you. Is that... Is that alright? <laughs> you do say the strangest things, Tosaka. I like you too. You're kind, smart. You work hard. I didn't mean it like that. No, choose me, teacher. <laughs> it's not my senpai or something. <laughs> hmm. Listen, I'm no longer able to love another cre creature. <gasps> Drama. It's not your fault, Tosaka. I'm sorry. No, teacher. Don't. No longer able to love another another creature. What does he mean? You saw it, remember? Saw what, sir? The photo. Yes, sir, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. My tragic past! A long forgotten love and the drama that befell us. It was the photo of the most important bird in my life. I'm sorry, sir, I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything. Just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than anybody else in the world. But one day I looked around. I was alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. <laughs> I can never forget. Never forget our life, our promises. But I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at the photo every day, I... Realized I couldn't tell anymore. I couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face or if, if I felt hatred. I I think I'm losing some I think so, losing someone there is painful for everyone. After a while I I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you that's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? Why I don't want to love again. You poor birdie, you. By now, the love I felt has soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's kind of, you know, profound in some way. That's too sad. You don't agree, Tosaka? I love your kindness, sir. When I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Ha <laughs> ha, I wonder. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. That photo. It's gone now. I burned it. That's sad! <laughs> when you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and... Neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So, as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better. Better to put it away. So I burned it. Sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. Yeah, that sounds decent, you know, scribbling over it and then burning it. 
uh, not really the best course of action. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh, Tosca, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it! But I understand that they don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Tosca. I will be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Oh, that's cute. Sir, that's... I don't like to make idle promises, but... I'm sure you'd grow up into a wonderful person, Tosica. Yeah, a person and a bird getting together. Sounds completely reasonable. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir! <laughs> Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That will be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't know what I will feel. Or what he will feel. But right now, I'm truly happy. Okay. Lots of international names here. I saw a Norwegian one there. This was a really weird but amusing game. Pigeon Nation Inc. For the bid by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Ending number eight. What may come? Okay. Yay, I got an achievement. So I guess that means that I just have to replay it several times to get, you know, the different endings. But, I like was... Uh, like was weird like I knew it would be, but it still was lots of fun. And I do think I'll play a, a bit more on, on my own just to see what it's about. Well, thanks uh, to all of you for watching and, uh, and joining me for this uh, silly game. And I'll, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more streaming then. So, thanks for watching, 